Sumatlet.com delivers the best online shopping experience. With an extensive selection and the lowest prices, you're guaranteed to find the product you need. Here's what you get. Free shipping on all orders over $49. Free one to two day shipping on all orders over $99. All orders placed by 6 p.m. ship out the same day. Shop at Sumatlet.com, the web's most popular swim shop. Welcome to the Morning Swim Show on Tuesday, August 28th, 2012. I'm your host, Jeff Cummings. Today in the Finis Monitor, we'll be talking to Tyler McGill, one of the best butterfly swimmers in the world. He swam in the finals of the 100 fly at the Olympics and won a gold medal as a prelim swimmer in the 400 medley relay. Tyler joins us right now from Auburn, Alabama. Hi, Tyler. Thanks, good, to see, good to see you. How, how's uh, the post-Olympic uh, experience been for you? Uh... It's it's pretty nonstop. I mean, it's a blast, and I'm having a lot of fun with it. Uh, but uh, there's something every single day, every single weekend that uh, it's you, you're out there doing and having fun being a part of. So this was your first Olympics. Uh, what was the? Uh, how did the experience of being in London match up with your expectations of it? I think it exceeded my expectations. Um, I've told a lot of people that I've, I think I've pretty fortunate that my first Olympics is, was in a country where I can communicate with people. Um, and so going around and I guess being able to do that and being able to see things and get a, a full understanding of what things in London were, just you know, not necessarily at the facilities, but even some sightseeing, uh, you know, I think it made the experience you know, better than I could have imagined. Well, you'll just, you got four years, you can brush up on your Portuguese, so it'll make it That's easy right. to get around in Rio. Yeah, I'll talk to uh, some of the guys here that are from Brazil, I'll see if they can't help me out. Absolutely. So, you were seventh in the 100 fly in London, and I would imagine that it's safe to say that's not the result that you wanted. No, 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 no. Um, and it's just, it's the result that happened. You know, it's, it's a disappointment, and that's kind of to say the least. Um, you know, you you go through the whole process and you try to do everything right. And you know, something that Brett and I talked about was, you know, you have to re reach this mental edge uh, to get the performance that you want. So you can be ready to go and focused on what you have to do, and walk behind the blocks and feel completely ready to go. Uh, but if you haven't crossed that edge. Uh, and it's a fine line. Sometimes you don't get the performance that you want. And for me, that's something I think probably happened. Um, and it's 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 something to learn from and grow from. Uh, but you know, it doesn't make the disappointment of you know what happened any easier, uh, knowing what could have been done differently. Yeah, that's a very interesting way to look at it. So I would imagine everything everything before that race you were ready for, even behind the blocks, you were all set to go. Yeah, behind the blocks, I, you know, I, you go through. I mean, personally, I go through like a little, like a little checklist uh, of, you know, you know, I've done this, I've done this, I'm ready to go, I'm focused. Like just the little reminders along the way, uh, and you go through all of those, and you know, you you enter the race ready, and I felt like I did all of that. So, going back, there's not much I would have changed. Changed, uh, but you just, you know, the only way to do it, to do it better is to do it again, uh, and so it's it's something to learn from and, and to move forward with. Well, knowing that Michael Phelps is now um, retired, and which essentially makes you now the fastest hunter butterfly in the United States, uh, how is your motivation going into this next quadrennial? Um. The motivation for this next quadrennial uh, is is big, uh, but I've always said that swimming is a year by year sport, um, and you know I'll approach this coming year with you know a different focus and intensity that I did this past year, and I'm trying to improve this year, and um, I'll have a grand scheme of what I want to happen over the next four years and how I want to progress over the next four years. Uh, but to sit here today and say I'm thinking about 
Rio 2016, uh, you know, that would just be a lie. I'm, I'm thinking about what's next in my life uh, and how to be great at what I do next. Well, we'll talk about some of those things that are coming up in your life in a little bit, but when you talk about year to year, I would imagine at least for the, the foreseeable future, you're going to be staying in Auburn? For the foreseeable, yeah, I'll be here. We're going to stay here. I'm going to be training. Uh, my wife's getting her Ph.D., uh, so we will we'll be here in Auburn. So uh, what is it like there training as a postgrad at Auburn? You know, you've got some of these other places around the country that have a lot of postgrads, and it, I would imagine Auburn, it's, it's not the same kind of thing. The numbers are a little bit low. So uh, tell us the, what the training experience is like for you there. It's amazing. I mean, I have all the, all the resources in the world that I would ever need. Um, I work wonderfully with Brett, and he finds different ways every season to develop me and to, to push me uh, mentally and physically. So, uh, you know, I, I fit in well here. And although I may not have this large group of post-grads, um, you know, I, I still have people that can train and push me every day. So my situation here is is as good as it would be anywhere else, um, you know, if not better. So I'm happy here, and you know, we're, we're not moving. And you've done really well under Coach Brett Hawk these past three, four years. You, you kind of touched on it, but what is it about the dynamic between the two of you that has enabled you to be so successful? Uh, it, one, I think he, like I said before, he finds ways to challenge his athletes, uh, unlike any other coach that I've ever been with. And... For me, finding little challenges and ways to get me outside of my comfort zone, um, you know, work really well. Uh, at the same time, like, I am totally willing and open to doing whatever he asks of me. And so, you know, if he says, do this, you know, it's like I'm going to go go for it all the way and, and give it my best attempt. And um, I think that relationship of me committing to what he's saying and, and bringing my own influence and my own thoughts into my training um, and then allowing him to take it and run with it is making this um, relationship work really well. So uh, tell us what married life is like. You've been married for, I believe, about 10 months now. So tell us yeah. what, what, what it's been yeah. like for you. We just had our nine-month anniversary, um, and it's been everything I could ever ask for. Um, Julian and I started dating my freshman year here at Auburn, just right before the year ended. So I've been really, really lucky to have someone that has been with me from the 2008 Olympic trials all the way through the 2012 Olympics. Um, and just having that person who's always willing to support you and uh, be there every day for you is, is something special. And so uh, just, I love Julianne so much, and I'm happy that she was able to be a part of all of this. Was she able to go to watch you swim in London? She was in London. Yeah, we kind of made that commitment to have her be there. And, you know... We traveled after London, too. We went to uh, Paris and Rome for about 10 days. So we uh, definitely enjoy each other's company. And I was so happy that she was able to be there with me and, and watch and share my excitement and the disappointment as well. Well, I'm sure, it, as I can tell, married life agrees with you, Tyler. And I'm sure, it's yep. uh, like you said, it's been a great support system, which... Um, can help in, in especially when you're dealing with the disappointment of not swimming as fast as you you wanted to. Right. Well, Tyler, thanks so much for joining us and uh, sharing your thoughts about your um, performance at Olympics, and we're looking forward to seeing how this next year goes for you. Thank you. Anytime. I'd be, I'd be glad to be on the show again. All right. Well, we'll see you in the future. All right. All right. So that's Tyler McGill joining us from Auburn, Alabama. And that's going to do it for today's Morning Swim Show. As always, we remind you to join us on Facebook and Twitter and contribute any of your thoughts to the topics discussed on today's show. I'm Jeff Cummings. Thanks for watching.